Well, we're finally here. It's taken two years of hard work against a backdrop of the world imploding, but we've made it and we've launched V3. I just wanted to put a vlog together that talks a little bit about what we've done, uh, talks about where we're going next, and also says a few thank yous to people. So the work with V3 has primarily been about laying foundations. It's been about taking everything we've learned from the last eight years of doing Exism and turning it into a product that's fun, that's useful, and that is scalable. Because one of the big problems with V2 was about scalability. The fact that mentors block students' progression meant that unless we had enough mentors to keep up with students, there could be some really long wait times. Those wait times would then put students off, which would mean the students never, never then graduated to become mentors themselves. So in V3, a lot of the work we've been doing has been trying to solve this problem. But that's not been simple or trivial. There's a lot of changes we've had to make to keep the product coherent. The challenge with not blocking is that people end up doubling down on their mistakes and not actually learning something and just reinforcing those mistakes through every exercise they work on. So there's been a few different tactics we've used to try and solve this. One of the key ones has been concept exercises. So this is a new type of exercise we've created which is all about learning. It takes one or two, occasionally three topics, and tries to teach you things about that in a practical, learn by doing sort of way. The aim is to have automation on those exercises, so when you solve them, we can automatically give feedback that traditionally you'd have got from a mentor, but now that we can automatically give you instead. So by the time you finish that exercise, we know you've learned enough about those concepts to be able to put them into practice in future exercises. So at first, you might not see a lot of this feedback. A lot of the work we've been doing in the last 18 months has been around laying the groundwork in terms of infrastructure, building the software for the analyzers and the representers, rather than actually working on the feedback itself. But now as the months and weeks pass, you're gonna find that mentors are populating all of this tooling with feedback that you'll slowly start to receive. And our aim within the next sort of six to eight months is that any concept exercise you do, you'll always be getting some sort of feedback automatically, almost instantly. We've also put a lot of effort into laying the foundations for our community and for building that over time. Our volunteer community is so critical to everything we do at Exism, whether that's developing tooling or content, or probably most importantly, actually the mentoring side of things itself. So one of the things we've been developing is the new reputation system that you'll see on V3, and also building out a whole contributing section with tasks that are powered by GitHub issues that you can browse through and explore to find ways that you can contribute. We've also been working hard on improving the mentoring experience, the user interface, some of the thinking behind it, and just trying to make that as friction-free an experience as possible so that both students and mentors really enjoy the process and mentors stick with it and students become mentors themselves. From a technology perspective, we've done loads to try and just give ourselves a code base that we enjoy working with. And we've now got something that feels really robust, really solid, We've got great test coverage, it's fast to iterate on, it's enjoyable to work with. And that covers all sorts of things. We've also created a whole load of infrastructure that powers the in-browser coding and also is going to enable other people to build integrations on top of it. We've got a new public API that's going to be coming out and we're looking to build integrations on top of things like VS Code, maybe GitHub Code Spaces and Replit and also just enabling you, the community, to build your own plugins and your own platforms, if you like, on, on top of Exism itself. One of the probably least exciting bits for you, but one of the most important bits to me, is the addition to Exism of our new donation system. So as you know, Exism is a free platform. We're a non-profit organization, and that's really important to us. That's great, but it also comes with the downside that often we don't have any money. And, uh, <laughs> Trying to build out a platform like Exism used by hundreds of thousands, millions of people for free is a large and challenging endeavor. And so we're hoping that by fundraising off the community, by getting people like you to support Exism, we're able to keep our goals, our decisions, everything we do aligned to you, aligned to what works best for our community. So we've added a donations area on the site. If everyone watching this gave $10 a month to support us, that would cover all our costs, enable us to hire a couple more people. It would really help us out and take us forward. So if you are watching this, please do consider uh, donating if you can. It would mean so much to us and help us really take Exism forward. I also want to say at this point a huge thank you to the University of Chicago and the Sloan Foundation who gave us a grant at the beginning of this process that's really allowed us to get V3 done. 
Um, especially also to James Evans, who was the person at Chicago that first contacted us and organised everything. We really wouldn't be here today without your support, so thank you so much. And before I move on to discussing what's next, I just want to say a couple more thank yous as well. To those people who have been on Slack every day, who have been on video calls, who have been working away tirelessly, building out content and tooling and everything for V3, thank you so much. Without your support, without your friendship, we wouldn't have got here. I'm not going to go through everyone's names, I would only miss people out. You know who you are, um, so thank you. And to those who have been quietly mentoring away on, on V2 in the background, um, you've kept the site going. We've all been distracted trying to build V3. It's taken you know, two years of us just with our heads down. And really it's been down to everyone that's been mentoring that's kept the site functioning so well, kept people using it, so thank you too. And the final thank you I want to say is to Eric, Carlo and Tayab. You've been working away tirelessly for the last two years, working full time building out V3. At times it's been frustrating and challenging, it's been hard with the, with the backdrop of COVID, we've not been able to meet up and see each other. Um, but I think for the most part we've stayed cheerful, we've had fun doing it. There's been some boring, repetitive, menial tasks out there. Ty has created hundreds of icons for various exercises. Um, Eric's been reviewing literally thousands of PRs from people. But we've got through it, I hope now it's, it's going to be worth it. So to the three of you if you're watching, Thank you so much. So, moving on to what's next for Exorcism. Well, firstly, there's a whole load of UI polish we want to add to things. We want to make sure everything's responsive. Um, at launch, we've tried to get everything on the outside of the site responsive and certain areas inside will work. We want to get that level of responsiveness to everything. We also want to make sure we've got really high levels of accessibility. For the most part, I think we've done quite a good job, but there's definitely areas that need a little bit more polish and a little bit more finishing. So that's something that's going to be a priority for us over the next few months. And there's still areas of the UI where we've wanted to improve things and we've, we've wanted to make changes, but we've not yet had time. So that's something that we'll just be ticking away on over the next couple of months, just adding a little bit more polish and a little bit more flair and joy to the site. Then there's more work to be done on the automation side. I talked earlier a little bit about how we need to populate that with feedback from our mentors. We've got a whole area that's designed that mentors can work in to, to add that automated feedback, but we haven't yet published that. We also want to launch our public API and start to support people who are building infrastructure on that. So that's going to be part of our ongoing work over the next few months. We're just going to be incrementally rolling out improvements to the whole of the automation side. Then there's the reintroduction of Exism Teams. Exism Teams is a feature that many people don't even know exists, but a lot of people, boot camps, those sorts of organisations use to support students as they're learning coding. We've removed that for V3, but in the beginning of 2022, we're going to be relaunching Exism Teams as a proper platform with new functionality, new features. Um, we've got a whole collaborative interface coming up where people are going to be able to solve the exercises on Exism together. So that's something we're really excited about. We've got a grant hopefully coming in that's gonna help us build that out and support us in that. So we'll be talking more about that later on in the year. And there's also a few other big features that are in the pipeline. I'm not gonna discuss those yet. I'll do further videos on those where we've ironed things out a little bit more and just firmed up exactly what we wanna do. But really we've just laid the groundwork with what we've done. We've set a, a base that we can now start to rebuild on. So, I feel really excited to have that phase out of the way, that groundwork phase, and to now be able to start adding these bigger improvements, these exciting new features. And then crucially, there's the ongoing work of building out tracks, building out content. We've got some tracks where we've got really great teams of maintainers and contributors, and then we've got other tracks where we really struggle to have people helping out. And the same is true of mentoring as well. So one of my big aims for the next six months is to be encouraging more and more people to get involved, encouraging students to become mentors, encouraging everyone to contribute wherever they can. And one of the things that our fundraising hopefully will bring us is the opportunity to hire two people, one to be supporting the community and one to specifically be working on content over the next six months to really improve the educational offering that we have. So as I've said a couple of times now, V3 marks the end of the phase of laying foundations. And equally, it marks the start of the phase of us now building and growing. I feel really proud of what we've made. Um, I think we've got a product now that is, is solid, that should be able to scale. I'm excited about where we can take it next. When I and the team look at V3, we see so much that we know we want to do next, and we're so excited for that journey. We're also slightly exhausted. I think we could all 
do with a couple of weeks off now after what has been a long two year slog. But I really hope that you go and you use the product and you enjoy the experience, enjoy using it. Uh, please, if you find bugs, report them. I'm sure there's going to be a lot at the start. Uh, and please do get involved in contributing, whether that's uh, adding content, whether that's mentoring, whether that's donating to us or a mixture of all three. Your support is, is what makes Exorcism. It's a volunteer project. It is a project by the community for the community. So please do come and get involved. And finally, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Your support and your encouragement is what makes everything we do worthwhile. It's what gets us through the challenging times and the tricky bits that we have to work on. So if you're enjoying Exorcism, if you're pleased with where V3 is going, please leave a comment in the video below on YouTube and tell us about it. Uh, please tell your friends on Twitter or whatever social media you use. But most importantly, please enjoy it.